I do like uh, to get lots of sleep before an exam. So uh, I would almost never be up late the night before. Um, so that's something that worked uh, really well for me, both in, in undergraduate and graduate school. Um, I think it's uh, whatever I would do would be just to try to remain physically calm so for me activity can be good so if there's you know i wasn't learning remotely so i could walk to an exam and i thought uh, that would be helpful um, but i didn't have a, a real exact ritual i just tried to be relaxed so that my brain could do its job during the exam we were just kind of talking about this the other day about how um in the old days, we would all sit in the hallway. Uh, there's hundreds of people waiting to go into the gym to write. And um, by the time I was into my education degree, I realized I'm not going down there at that time. <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't helpful for me. It, w it would uh, get me agitated and nervous a little bit more. And I just really needed to have a sense of calm. So I, I would stay in the library and uh, just, I would sort of study up to, let's say 15 minutes before and then just breathe. Um, just get into the zone and then go like a minute before the, so everybody's kind of following, like filing into the place. And I didn't have to deal with any of that business about this chit chat. We'd be like, did you see this? Did you read this? Did you, <laughs> because I would find that it would throw me off. And so I, to avoid all that was, was helpful for me, I guess um, in an online situation um, that's not necessarily the same kind of, it doesn't look the same. But I think the I think the idea of breathing beforehand and, and centering yourself beforehand is is important. Praying uh, is important, and um, and so if we can do that before the exam, I think that's helpful. When I was a student, I would just stop studying the night before. Um, uh, some some of my students will do all nighters and then go and study. Uh, I found out, you know, I I have a BA and MA, MPhil and a PhD, so I've written lots of examinations. Uh, and I found out that uh, the, the last night's uh, uh, work, if, especially if it's an all night or a long day, it, it doesn't help. It's not worth it. So study and then give yourself a good night's sleep. Uh, and then and don't worry about it, you know, just go to the exam room. And... So I think there's a few things. If I go into an exam, usually I've made sure I actually sleep the night before. So none of this all nighter before an exam. My brain doesn't work that way. The other thing is a funny little tradition of bringing apple juice with me into the exam. Um, not sure if it's scientific, but this idea of having something to keep you hydrated and a little bit of natural sugar just helps me keep focused. Same time, I avoid caffeine because that seems to give me kind of a high than a crash, which I don't want during the exam. Uh, the one thing that I, that I do and I even tell my kids to do now is just to, to make sure you breathe. Uh, even before I, I'm giving a talk or a sermon or whatever, a couple of deep breaths. Uh, physiologically, um, I think, in fact, if you breathe through your di diaphragm, uh, it triggers something in your brain that, that really relaxes you. And I think that's one of the most important things to do before an exam is make sure you breathe and, um, and it just kind of puts you in a really good uh, physiological frame of mind, if you will. Exam. You know, the best piece of advice I can remember getting, and this was in the context of studying a language, but it could happen in any course, is that whatever you do, even if you don't feel prepared the night before, do not pull an all-nighter. It will not help you. You actually want to go to bed and get as much sleep as you possibly can, and your brain will thank you for that, and then the next day you will thank your brain, because a well-rested brain is really capable of taking on challenges in a way that a, a brain that's sleep deprived just can't, can't do it. So that's my strongest piece of advice. Get a good night's sleep, no matter what state of preparedness you might be in before you go to bed. Uh, before, like right before an exam, I always try to make sure that I'm there early enough. I'm the kind of person I don't like to be late and I don't like to be sort of scrambling to get where I need to be at the last second. So I like to make sure that I'm sort of physically where the exam is a few minutes ahead of time. 
Um, if it's an online exam, because I've written a few of those um, over the course of my university, my five years of university, um, I like to make sure that I have the link like right in front of me. So all I have to do is kind of click start and I can get going. Uh, so I like to make sure that I'm nice and early and, and ready for that. And sort of once I'm kind of in that exam space, I make sure that I take time to kind of try and just calm myself down a little bit. My heart tends to race before an exam. So I do a lot of uh, like deep breathing and uh, I a lot of positive talk and, and stuff like that, just to kind of help me center and to, to focus and, and to make sure that my heart rate is a little bit lower than, um, you know, absolutely thundering beats. So yeah, that's kind of what I do before an exam.